Okay, so let's go back in our book <clears throat> and flip back to the start of this lesson, page 326. We started out by talking about Washington, D.C. Um, and let's chat a little bit about the different cities that we discussed in our reading today, our reading being 326 to 329. So have your books out. Make sure you're awake. Make sure we're sitting up. Make sure we're all here and all together, okay? All right, so let's talk about Washington, D.C. What are, um, sorry, hold on. What are some important parts of the U.S. government that are found in Washington, D.C.? The Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is there. What else is there? It's where the president lives, and I'm looking for one other thing. Yes, ma'am? Starts with a C. Nope. Congress. So, New York, or not New York, wow. Washington, D.C. is home to the president, Congress, and the Supreme Court. What does Congress do in Washington, D.C.? <gasps> yes, meets and makes laws for the country. Very good, very good. So why are some southeastern cities among the oldest in the nation? Why do y'all think that is? Because they were founded in... Because, what is it? The Great Revolution. Yeah, so the um, United States was actually... It began in the southeastern part of our country. So you've got to think, if it began in the southeastern part of our country, then all of these old cities have been here for a really long time. Like St. Augustine. Yes, St. Augustine. Very old city. Very good. Who gave land to the U.S. government to be the nation's capital? Maryland and I think Virginia. You were correct. Yes, ma'am. So Maryland and Virginia gave that land over um, to be the nation's capital. Washington, D.C. is the name of the capital. Is it a part of any state? No. No. Washington, D.C., District of Columbia, the D.C. stands for District of, District of Columbia. It is not a part of any state. It's settled right between Maryland, Virginia area, but it is its own thing. Okay? So, Washington, D.C., it's its own state. It's governed by its own thing, and it fills up the entire District of Columbia. Um... Oh, we talked about that. So let's look at page 327. Let's talk about Richmond, Charlotte, and Charleston. What is the capital of Richmond? What? Dang it. What is the capital of Virginia? Everyone can tell me this. Richmond. Richmond. I love when I give the answer. Very good. Um, why is Richmond important to U.S. history? What's so important about Richmond, Virginia? Beautiful? Because many slaves were about to get back here. It was a big part of the Civil War. And Patrick Henry gave a very, very famous speech there. Damien? Give me liberty or give me death. Mm -hmm. It's a very famous speech. Give me liberty or give me death. Um, what, which one, which one of these cities, um, is the country's most important banking center? Beautiful. No. Yeah. Haley? Charlotte. Yes. So it kind of goes against what we learned in phonics, but then the CH says, Ch Charlotte. Charlotte, North Carolina is a very important banking center and you'll see a vocab term there. A mint is a place that makes coins for people to use as money. They have mints there. Um, in what ways is Charlotte's history connected to money? What? what how did they? How did they get connected with money from way back when? Jordan. Well, the coins they have mints. Yes. Hey, can I check her ball bag real quick? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Um, I don't know that she actually has one. So I, oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, so they have, but it goes back to the history of it. Way back at the beginning of Charlotte, what was it, beautiful? Gold Yes, yeah, so way back when, um, Charlotte actually was home to gold mines, which is pretty interesting. Um, and then, of course, just like Jordan told us, guys, eyes on me, just like Jordan told us, there was, excuse me, problem, um, there was a mint where they made the coins as well. Um, 
Let's see. Ooh, what makes Charleston, South Carolina, one of the South's oldest towns? Damien? Um, let's see. When was it settled? <gasps> I'm still on you. Uh, 16, yes. So it makes it the oldest city. Oh, Elijah and Donovan, heads up off the desk. Put your hands in your laps. Put your hands in your laps so you're not willing, you're not tempted to lean. You're still leaning. Yeah, there we go. That helps us sit up straight and pay attention. So, yeah, uh, it was found way back in the 1600s. So it makes it one of the South's oldest towns. Where was Charleston settled? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was settled in the late 1600s oh, where? Ashley River. Yeah, on the banks of the... I can't let you answer all of them. On the banks of the Ashley River is where it was settled. Very good. Um, but I'm bum bum. Moving on. What did a good harbor help Charleston become? Port yes, a very valuable port city. Very good. You're on a roll today. She's pulling... She's doing the dance. She's pulling the information out of the textbook. I love that dance. Why? Because you don't like pulling information out of the textbook? No. Well, Haley Hahn likes pulling information out of the textbook. So, Well, I don't really care what you like. Yeah. Anywho, um, who occupied Charleston during the Revolutionary War? Damien? The British. Excellent job, the British. What was built in the Charleston Harbor after the War of 1812 and became the tinderbox that set off the Civil War? Fort Sumner. Fort Sumner, very good. So all of these places, being that they were early settlements, they were very pivotal and important during the Civil War. And this is some of the first places that were settled. Um, and a lot of these places are just a few hours away from here. Like Charlotte, or I'm sorry, Charleston's only like, Five hours away from here. We're going to flip over though. And we're going to talk about a place that's only a couple hours away from here. And it's one of my favorite places. Savannah, Georgia. No, nope, Savannah, Georgia. Uh, what is an active southern port city in Georgia? That would be Savannah. Uh, when and how was Savannah founded? Ronaldo. It was founded in the 1700s. By who? Wait, by James Oglethorpe. I'm on her now. James Oglethorpe. Oglethorpe. Everyone say Oglethorpe. 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 It's a fun word to say. So it was founded in the early. It was founded in the early 1700s by James Oglethorpe. What was special about Savannah? There was something special about the design. Mm -hmm. And what was that special design, Jordan? The square. Yeah, okay, so, and I've seen these squares. It's very, very cool. And if you ever have a chance to go visit Savannah, I highly recommend that you do. It's very beautiful. Um, so he had the town situated. It would be divided into sections or wards, and at the center of each section was a square. Um, and these would have a city park, a garden, something there. And north and south of the square were areas for people to live. East and west were for shops and businesses. And let me, guys, let me tell you guys what, it's still like that today. It's still set up with all of the squares. It ended up being, it started with four squares and wound up being 22 squares. Oh, wow. Yeah, so as it grew, they continued to follow the uh, design of James Oglethorpe. Yes, ma'am. Um, like, you, like, you can, um, yeah, like you can basically tell it is square. A lot of them are like, you know, you've got, oh, sorry, video. <laughs> You have something sat in the middle, a garden, a park, something, and then there's something here, something here, and something here. So you've got homes, and then you've got shops. And it's pretty much still like that today. So I do highly recommend visiting. Tell your parents. Say, I don't want to go to the beach. I want to go to Georgia. <laughs> um, let's talk about Atlanta. Um, where was the location of Atlanta, Georgia? How did it start out in the 1830s? Beautiful? Two yes, very good. Um, at the junction of two railroad lines. How and when was Atlanta destroyed? Damien? It was destroyed by the Union Army. Mm -hmm. when, when did that happen, Haley Gon? The 1860s. Yeah, in the 1860s. What was Atlanta rebuilt as? What did they call it after it was rebuilt? 
Yeah, they called it the new, uh, the city, a city of the new south. In the post-war years, what did Atlanta grow to become? Mm, Jordan? Yeah, it became a very important economic center. Um, which civil rights leader's home was in Atlanta? Damian? Martin Luther King Jr. Very good. Well, what else is Atlanta known for? Um, it's got a very busy something. Beautiful? Airport. airport. Yes, it's got a very busy airport. I've flown through that airport and in and out of that airport before. And... One time I had to fly into that airport and I had, my flights had been delayed. I was coming back from Colorado and I hadn't eaten anything in like 24 hours and they have a Carrabba's in that airport and I ate my entire bowl of spaghetti all by myself and I don't ever do that. It was so good. And so now every time I think of Atlanta airport, I think of eating a giant bowl of spaghetti. Who likes spaghetti? Me. I'm eating spaghetti for dinner tonight. That's how much I love spaghetti. Um... And like I told you guys last week, Atlanta also has lots of movies made there. Um, some of the Avengers movies have been made in Atlanta. So it's a, it's a source of economic growth and wealth. Um, it's a very big city, but they also film some movies there. So fun little fact about Atlanta. Yeah. Let's talk about the last two cities that we read about in our reading, uh, New Orleans and Memphis, Tennessee. So what type of land does New Orleans sit on? The Delta of the Mississippi River. The Delta of the Mississippi River. Um, Delta is going to be one of your terms you'll be looking up, but it is a type of land. And you are getting your vocabulary words today. And I'm assigning you your state projects. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, what, where does a Delta form? Where does a Delta form? Uh, Damien? Where the river Yes, very good. What do we know about the history of New Orleans? Beautiful? Very good, very good. It was founded in the early 1700s by French settlers. So because it was founded by French settlers, there are still a lot of French um, influences in New Orleans today. They have some of my favorite food on the earth. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Um, the princess and the Yes, and The Princess and the Frog is one of my favorite movies. I love it. And it did. It's, it took, it's like a, it's very New Orleans. And there's a lot of French influence. And one of my favorite foods is called beignets. They're, it's pieces of dough. And they throw them in a deep fryer. And they get real nice and soft. And then they cover them in powdered sugar. And you can dip them in stuff. They're like fancy donuts. They're phenomenal. So I actually right now I'm looking up a recipe for them to see if I can make homemade beignets. Because I want, I love food of the South. So I would love for us to be able to sample some food from the South. And what's really crazy about food from the South is you have things like, hold on one second. You have things like New Orleans where you've got all this like French influence and you've got food like beignets and there's Creole food. There's like gumbo, there's jambalaya. Hold on one second. But you also have places like Memphis. Memphis is really known for its barbecue. So a lot of places in the South are known for its barbecue, but Memphis is very much known for its barbecue. Nashville is known for its hot chicken. I love hot chicken. So I like food and I like talking about food, clearly, since I've talked about spaghetti, beignets, and you know, now, you know, barbecue. <laughs> so um, yeah, you gotta think about how different and diverse the Southeast region is. Cause you've got places like New Orleans that still to this day is really influenced heavily by being founded by the French in the 1700s. Um, America actually acquired that land with the Louisiana purchase, okay? In what ways, sorry, in what way is New Orleans port important to the city? How is it important to the city? How is the port important to the city? Jordan? They do ship things and that, that helps. Beautiful? It's a central part of its economy. Yeah, so because of the shipping and because of the boats, it's a central part of the economy. That's exactly what I was looking for. What is another major part of the economy here? People go and visit and they're called? Tourism. Very good, very good. Um, what is Creole cooking? Okay, go ahead. Um, it mixes foods from 
European, African, Caribbean, and American cooking. Yes, so Creole cooking, you're getting a little European. You're getting a little African. You're getting a little Caribbean. You're getting a little American, and they're basically putting it all in a pot, mixing it together, and let me tell you guys what. It is delicious. Wonderful. Please help me with the noises that we're making, okay? Um... What other city is located farther up the Mississippi River? Damien? Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. Very good. And it sits on a high bank looking over the Mississippi River. It's also the meeting place for five railroads and two major highways. Okay. So, what we're going to do now, I'm going to turn off the video. Everyone say bye, Carson. Bye, Carson. Good.